position and wait for my go. Hi, welcome to your tutorial. Uh, for this week, what we're going to do is that uh, we are going to create a calendar. Okay, so uh, to create a calendar uh, requires a application in using uh, tabs in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so these features is something that have uh, not used a lot of time but in this uh, tutorial i'm going to teach you how to create a calendar and manage uh, the elements using tabs so first of all what we're going to do is that we're going to set up our canvas by create new okay set your canvas to inches and then uh, set the width at 11.7 inches and height is 8.3 inches so this is going to be a table calendar okay and then click create all right so this is our canvas for now all right, okay so before anything else i want you guys to submit eh, sorry i want you guys to save save as as calendar 2021 all right okay click on save okay so first of all what we're going to do is that uh, this calendar is going to have an image and the dates is on the right okay so first of all we just make a simple layout to identify where is the elements uh, that we're going to put so i'm just going to use a color gray without the outlines and make a box okay so this is going to be a place for the uh, image all right okay so once the image uh, placement already done so, okay so i'm going to create a placement for uh, the dates using outlined without uh, the fill color okay so the dates is going to be somewhere around here okay so the date is going to be somewhere around here and then on top of here we can uh, put the text uh, called uh, January 2021 okay so I'm going to use a typeface called Helvetica okay so some maybe maybe this one is fine okay so select make a selection highlight your points and then you can increase the size of your selection okay so it looks good the size will be better I'm just to reduce D click on character over here reduce the leading okay or you can click over here and then you can reduce the leading to make uh, the sizes between the January and 2021 closer so just highlight your content over there uh, using your keyboard arrow to reduce the size of the leading all right okay so uh, this is the title for the, the text okay so for the next steps what we're going to do is that we are going to a uh, create the uh, box for the calendar so if you look into our calendar over here okay so this is considered a box so you have uh, seven days on the right and then from the bottom you have one two three four five six uh, boxes all together okay so we're going to simulate what we have seen over here okay so from there we're going to uh, create a uh, boxes all right so first I'm going to use a line and then I create a line over here like this okay so from this line we need a required a seven days all together okay so seven boxes okay so hold your uh, control alternate and shift hold your control alternate and shift select the line that you want to copy and then you drag it to the right okay so that is the most easiest way for you to duplicate your uh, elements okay so control alternate shift and then move it until you have the lines that you wanted so one two three four five six and another one will be seven all right so uh, i'm going to uh, 
delete uh, the main box over here okay I'm going to delete the main box and then I'm going to create the lines okay so I have one two three four five six and then one more seven one two three four five six seven okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make sure the distribution of spaces are the same so I'm going to select all on the uh, alignments I click over here horizontal distribute center then I would have a equal amount of boxes uh, between the lines over here all right so so once already done this so I'm going to uh, require the row for these boxes okay so this row for these boxes okay using line as well make sure there is no fill color outline okay i'm going to create this uh, box uh, this line okay this way and this way since we required six uh, line uh, six row one two three four five okay so once already have this I uh, select uh, this select the horizontal line and hit the vertical uh, distribute center so you make an adjustment so it will be equals okay equals okay somewhere around there okay so now I have a uh, boxes that match together okay so but if you notice over here uh, on uh, January uh, the day uh, starts on the 1st of January is going to be on Friday so you will notice that uh, this day is, uh, is still on December so we're going to make an, some indication over here that it is still on December okay so after you done this what we're going to do okay what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to merge all this box together and then we're going to separate so we can control uh, the lines easily okay for the next step is that uh, we are going to uh, simulate what we see over here in the calendar where the day start at a friday which is january 1st and then the day before that is a uh, still a december so we're going to make some indication on that okay so first of all we're going to merge all the lines okay so select this two join over here like this right click join together over here select right click join together over here select right click join together Okay, so by by now it is a, a combined path and then I can place any color inside the path so uh, I'm going to do is that uh, using uh, white color fill color and select the path again right click and arrange send to back okay so now I have this uh, these colors uh, these shapes over here uh, but if I'm going to make any changes is going to be applied to the rest of the shapes okay so there is no individual box so what i'm going to do afterwards is to turn all these uh, lines into an individual box so i can control the outline okay so i'm select all uh, using the windows pathfinder over here pathfinder okay this one Okay, and then uh, click on divides okay so now each and every uh, after you click divides okay right click and ungroup so now you have individual box that you can control the outline so I'm going to set a date first okay so uh, click on type 2 okay so I'm going to uh, start with uh, Sunday okay so this is too big I just gonna reduce using type faces called my variable concept okay and then I reduce the size a little bit to uh, make sure it is suitable use highlighted and using a uh, keyboard arrow to easily reduce so I'm going to change to my red 
variable concept okay so reduce the size to 25 okay and then i'm going to place it over here and then i'm going to type uh monday mon for monday space tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday okay so once you already set this one up okay so i'm going to use tabs okay this is the important element especially when you want to separate uh, or give some space in uh, your file of adobe uh, illustrator okay so in order for you to open your tab and uh, make arrangements toward this day okay what you can do is that you control shift t okay so it will open this tab again i'm going to repeat it is a control shift t okay so i will have these tabs uh, I, I would select the the text over here and then i make arrangement using the text over here so once i already made arrangement i can move this accordingly what i want okay so once you already open the tabs okay just you will notice there is an arrow that is in the tabs okay so just click that arrow okay and click the arrow click that arrow so that is the length of the tab that you wanted to see okay so first of all once already set up this some arrow i can click over here and then on the keyboard tab and then i can control the side the the placement of the tab that i wanted okay select another one tab okay so this is would be these tabs over here so i can control it okay so this one over here uh, tap on the keyboard and then adjust accordingly okay so it's easier for you to control the okay adjustment over here using fri on friday taps on your keyboard make adjustment accordingly okay last one will be on the fr saturday click over there on the keyboard and then uh, hit taps on the keyboard Okay, so I can control easily the placement of the text that I have over here. I just click over there. Okay, so you can uh, keep going back and forth. Okay, until you get all your placement done properly. Okay, so once you're done, just X on the tabs. Okay, all right. So uh, since uh, looking back into the calendar over here. We will see it starts on Friday. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, use a lighter color over here to reduce the to show that this is still on December. So I'm just going to select this part and this part using shift. Okay, and then change the color to uh, light gray. Okay, and then uh, the rest of it I will change to a bit of darker gray. Okay, this part over here. I'll change to darker gray okay, since this is uh, you see there is a there is some indication over here maybe I will see darker ones over here okay alright so if you notice uh, over here the line is not clear what you can do select that object right click arrange bring to front okay so it will cover the uh, the the lines that you wanted to make a color right click arrange bring to front okay so this one is a bit of lighter gray i should make it lighter to make it more obvious okay so now you know that this is uh, from saturday to monday on the first week of january 2021 is a december and now what we're going to do is that we're going to set up the date for this calendar and then after we set up the dates using the tabs what we're going to do is that we're going to make adjustment towards the uh, exact number of date okay so first of all uh, grab your type tool and then uh, cover the type tool uh, the entire uh, space that you want to write okay so you have a place all the text don't worry and then uh, just change this number to number one okay so you can make adjustment toward the size of the uh, type tool and then again uh, once you already done this we're going to set up the tabs uh, for the date 
and then since we set up once then you can reuse it again for the upcoming months okay so control shift t to open the tabs and then uh, since we required the seven days over there so just drag you will see the lines okay you will see the lines and then the first steps will be over here and then second third fourth fifth six and lastly number seven okay so once we already set up the tabs okay it will make your life easier to arrange all those numbers so we can arrange it accordingly okay since uh, the first number over here is number one okay so we're just going to start with this number one tab number two enter three four five six seven and uh, continue until you have all uh, the arrangement okay so as you notice we have a problem little bit of number 10 okay, due to the double digit okay and then we can move a little bit forwards okay so that the number 10 will be able to accommodate okay so the next line would be a 11 okay 12 13 14 15 16 and then lastly would be 17 okay so you will notice you there is uh, some problems over here okay like 11 and uh, leading is not uh, correct so we can make adjustments towards uh this leading okay so still on your tabs you can move this forward a little bit okay so you will able to accommodate uh, the lines over here okay so since uh, this one is changing you just remove the tab accordingly okay so you just use the tabs to move once already set up so once already done that what we're going to do is that we're going to adjust the leading to increase the leading size Okay, so you will have a proper uh, arrangement okay so now uh, you have the leading done correctly so if you're not satisfied with the line you still can move the lines bits and pieces here and there okay all right okay so you do not want the lines okay so for example 16 are a bit closer so i can make adjustment to 16 and 15 as well okay 13 with to the front okay so uh, you just make a small adjustment and then what you can do is that you can continue on until you have the entire calendar okay so i already fill in all the dates accordingly there will be some uh, adjustment that i have done so since i'm using tabs so easy for me to control okay just by using this tab you can make your whole life easier in order for you to arrange all those dates accordingly so once already I make adjustment and then I would be uh, just use X and then uh, what you can do is that if for the upcoming uh, month uh, what you should do is that you are using the same tabs okay since you already set the templates and layout you can reuse it again so once you already done this what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, beautify uh, this calendar Okay, so first of all i'm just going to color this one uh, using blue color dark blue and then this one yeah chili red over here okay so it looks uh, looks better and uh, the image over here uh, the box over here is prepared for image so you can uh, use any uh, large images that you wanted to so i'm going to click a place okay, i'm going to use this uh, cafe image okay and then place it over here and then I'm going to mask this image okay okay so uh, once already have this image over here I'm going to mask using the box that I have in place right click arrange send to back uh, select both of the image and also uh, the uh, box okay so select both right click make clipping mask so I clip that one over there 
Okay, so I just make some adjustment accordingly. Right, okay. So to get the the beautiful door over there. Okay. Okay. All right. So I uh, once ready make this adjustment, and then what I can do is that I can put the uh, uh, place for the logo. Okay, so which is over here. Okay. Uh, so maybe I can write something over here to indicate there is a place for logo. So you can uh, replace this with any logo that you wanted. Okay. According to if you have a project. Okay. And this one as well. I'm just going to write over there a logo. Okay. Place it over here. And then put a color white. Okay. So you can change this logo accordingly to whatever project that you wanted. Okay, so underneath over here, there is a little bit of space. Maybe I can, uh, what you can do is that uh, you can have a website. And then a phone, uh, maybe I'll put over there 067734569. Six nine just to uh, get the number phones, and then you can uh, place over there a www dot travel dot com. Just a dummy page, okay? So from here, what you can do is that maybe you can uh, use tab as well uh, to uh, to give a little bit of a uh, space in between there. Okay, so you can control shift T to open it. okay and then what you can do is that you can uh, put uh, different uh, spacings in between just select over there okay and then move your tabs accordingly so you can if okay so it requires a left spacings to make it easier life easier okay so something like this Okay, and then you can move using uh, keyboard tabs okay this one as well you can move using keyboard tabs and then just click a button over there move the buttons oh, this one is over here all right okay and then on this other tabs over here I can create an arrow an adjustment accordingly okay and then another one over here and then i will just select and tabs okay okay maybe this one is too far and then i can put some tabs over there to bring this forward okay so you can make adjustment select and then move your tabs okay until you reach a very satisfied level okay so since i'm going to Make sure this line is followed accordingly. Okay, somewhere around there, and then this one as well. We are going to move it to this line. Okay, okay, so that's how you want to use tab and then the application of tabs in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so maybe you want to try to complete the uh, the calendar until. Uh, December okay uh, have a good try everyone okay so this is how you want to uh, create a calendar and then use tab to manage your date okay have a good day